Says you should become a police officer. Why? I don't want to. You chase the same men they do. Might as well get paid for it. Damn. Savage. Because of that Simone Biles video, I have a lot of women in the comment section talking about what men are supposed to do. Men are supposed to pursue. They're supposed to chase. But I do find it funny because now when men have a conversation about what women are supposed to do, wash, cook, clean, and, you know, submit, we're going to get mad. So we can understand that men are supposed to do the traditional roles by chasing. But when we're ready to discuss what women are supposed to do, we want to talk about equality and that it's not 1950s no more. Listen, do y'all see the hypocrisy in that? Let's call a spade a spade. My question would be for you ladies, if men are supposed to chase, what are women supposed to do? Answer that question. Answer it. Yeah, that's a very good question, considering women seem to still want traditional men and still expect men to do traditional shit, and they don't want to do traditional shit themselves. So, since y'all still expect men to do traditional things, what is a woman expected to do still? That is a very good question, and they don't want to answer it, because they don't have one. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. I want you to check out these comments real quick, man. Now, right here, you got a woman who says they become oblivious when men say what they are supposed to do. Pure hypocrisy. And then right below that, another woman, and you can tell she's from the hyena clan. Look, a lot of women don't mind submitting. Stop the cow. But to some men, submission is control. Stop the cap. And if we do that, then we are going backwards. Get the French toast out of here. Men are supposed to pursue and provide, period. Women are not supposed to be slaves. You stupid. And Chant Chantel responded. How would you define submission? And when I tell you, bro, I was waiting for her to fucking respond. And she did not respond whatsoever. Everybody else but her responded to that. Look, this is the rest of them. She didn't respond. So you so you so you had you had an answer for that, but you can't answer what submission is. Because reality is, is that y'all women don't want to submit. Y'all don't want to hold traditional values, but y'all still want to hold men to theirs. That's basically what you said in this comment, because otherwise you should have been able to a a answer Chantel's question. And shout out to Chantel, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to her YouTube channel, man. Let's keep it moving. Whether we admit it or not, some of us black women still feel some type of way when we see black men date outside of us. And it wasn't until my son pointed out my behavior in my marriage with his father, where he was just like, mom, you're the reason why I didn't want to be with a black girl because if that's how your woman acts i don't want no parts of it and i really had to take accountability for that and self-reflect and then i thought about it i was like well i thought about my friends and i thought about my childhood and how i grew up and you know i was always raised to be independent so that don't so that a nigga don't ever think that he could put you out and then it's like dang that hyper independent mindset although it had good intentions behind it it really negatively affected us and some of us i can't speak for all black women but a lot of us we love aggressively even though we don't intend to and we are also very controlling even though we don't intend to and because we're not healed and we be toxic unless there is a man who is overly dominant and aggressive and put us in our place because you know we love them types of toxic relationships we don't know how to be docile and submit and love in a soft gentle way even though those be our internal intentions. It just don't come out that way. So black ladies, really self-reflect and think about how you're showing up as a representative of a black woman to these young black men. Yeah, because men are, because we are watching. We are seeing this. 
And it's funny how black women don't, they always seem to change their tune when it, when it involves their sons. Let's keep it moving. better than you judging by the way you looking Ugh. and i don't think you can be much cuter with makeup but let's continue now unless a man is paying you can't even put on decent clothes the standard has dropped so low that black women don't even understand that how you treat yourself is how someone else is going to treat you you set the standard. You set the tone for the care and the treatment that you expect from the people around you. Ain't no way I'd be comfortable going out in a public space with dirty Uggs on and a ratty sweater. That's what she said, not me. And if she really had game, she would know that you're going into the casino where they serve alcohol and food. You're going into the casino where I guarantee you either that man is gambling or he is comfortable with you gambling. You could have won some monies. Bottom line, women need to understand that what a man looks at is not what he's paying for. Your feminine energy that he gets to absorb when he's around you, that's what he wants. Being around your caring and nurturing spirit, your essence is what he wants. If all you have reduced yourself to is your NARS makeup and your clothes, you are too cheap for a man of substance anyway. And if you feel like if that man is not paying for a date, then you're not even going to put on clothes you're not even going to put in the effort to look like something don't go out with that man because where y'all gonna mess up is your husband is gonna be out there and he gonna see you looking a fool and he ain't gonna want it either yeah notice what she said he's gonna see you acting a fool just like that woman's son saw how his mom was treating his dad see what i'm saying and uh, for you guys yesterday that was asking about her. The name of her TikTok is Life in the Ash Lane. Because her name is Ashley. So A-S-H Lane. Um, I believe she just, like literally just started a YouTube channel. And I believe it's the same, man. So if y'all want to support her, check her out, man. Hey, let, let her know that I sent y'all there. Like, who knows, man? Maybe I can get lucky and get her on the show. Uh, uh, be respectful, though, because she is in a relationship, as you can imagine, because most women who think like this tend to be in relationships or married. Imagine that. Uh, let's keep it moving. So I can't speak for all men, but I know for a fact that majority of you men love when a woman presents herself in her feminine energy. You guys love that. I don't have to be a man to know that. I'm a woman, so I know. You guys love that. But of course, the women are always going to come back at you men when you say that. Men will say, yes, I love women in their feminine energy. Here comes the modern day American woman. Well, put me in my feminine energy then. I won't be in my feminine energy until you men put me in it. Now you guys have to be Captain save -ho. Um accept a masculine woman into your life right a woman that's going to have masculine energy because of her past and then she's demanding you to put her in her feminine energy 
she's not going to present herself to you in her feminine energy because her past made her masculine. So I'm sorry, guys. You're just not going to get a woman in her feminine energy. She needs you to save her. You know, they want they want you to save her. They, they want to be saved. They want to be saved. And they want you to put them in their feminine energy. Yeah. Yeah. Earth is so ghetto. Sorry. Men are raming themselves, figuring out like ways that they are victims. I don't see men saying we're victims. We're victims. No, what men are saying is there is a reality in this world right now where there is an effort to demonize men on second one, where there is an effort to call masculinity toxic, where there is an effort to tell women you don't need a man, where there is an effort to tell guys that everything that they instinctually want to do for their families, for themselves, for their loved ones is bad, is toxic. If you call that out, you're not playing a victim. You're just somebody who's acknowledging and speaking out about reality. These feminists don't like that because it's inconvenient. It's an inconvenient truth. In 2019, the American Psychological Association issued guidelines to help clinicians help young men and boys. And in those guidelines, they declared traditional masculinity, quote unquote, harmful to them. They went as far as saying that the pressure to be a traditional masculine man is causing young men to unalive themselves. If you don't think that there is an attack on traditional masculine values right now, you're just ignorant or you're choosing not to believe it. If you don't make over six figures uh, and you're a man and you're commenting about a woman's looks, natural versus wearing makeup, we already know why you're doing that. Because you can't afford a woman that wears makeup. You know what I find so crazy about this woman, y'all? She doesn't even make sense when she says things. You can't have an opinion now because you don't make six figures. So if that's the case, then women shouldn't speak on men anymore. If you guys aren't the type of women to cook, clean, and be housewives and make a meal from scratch, I don't mean anything out of the box, make everything out of scratch, from dough, everything, then you can speak on anything about a man. Now, doesn't that make me sound like I'm misogynistic? Go be in the kitchen like you're supposed to. Doesn't that make me sound misogynistic? Exactly. So what do you think it sounds like when she speaks? She sounds like a misandrist. Exactly. We are old. We are all allowed to have opinions. I don't like when people do that. Like, even if somebody comes on here and talks about relationship stuff. Oh, what is this? What what are you qualified for? And you're not qualified and you give advice. So be quiet. You know what I mean? I don't understand why people get so bothered about men having opinion about women who wear makeup. Men date women, don't they? So do women date men, right? So why can't we have an opinion on each other? You guys have an opinion about broke men. You guys have an opinion about men who don't take care of their kids. You have an opinion about everything a man does. Look, men can't even drink certain drinks without being fruity now. If a man even has a ring light, he's considered fruity. You guys can say that and it's okay, right? But a guy can't say he wants to grow natural. Because God forbid he says he likes you better without makeup. You're going to have a freaking stroke. Megan Thee Stallion. Make it make sense. Women can say so many harsh things and it be justified. And we're women, that's how it is. But if a guy says something, crucify him, take his platform. You guys exaggerate. I'm being so serious, y'all. I don't even understand how this woman even gives advice. Because there's nothing she says that I actually think is heat. It doesn't It doesn't hit nowhere. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't understand her, her motive, her point of her video sometimes. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Because if that's the case, then women need to be on their P's and Q's before they speak on certain men. And if a six-figure earner men has a lot to say about women without makeup, what then? I'm pretty sure a six-figure man has a certain type of woman he's looking towards. And I highly doubt it's going to be just a regular woman. I'm pretty sure that woman's going to be drop-dead gorgeous from head to toe. But if he was to state that and say he wanted a girl with big old tits falling off the bone, you guys would have a stroke. Everything bothers you guys. Ladies, learn to just let people have opinions. In 2024, can we just stop this bitterness and just let men have opinions? Just like you guys can have opinions. It's called freedom of speech. Ooh, yay, we learned a new word today. To, man, shout out to Tay Tay. Make y'all make sure y'all subscribe to her as well. The real problem is is that women don't want men to have an opinion unless it aligns with their narrative. Unless it's 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 basically the feminist mindset. You, you that that's how feminists act, bro. If you're if you don't align with them, you're against them. That that's that's the way these women think. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, though. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love support. 
make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way y'all know what i'm uploading hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience also look out for the travel vlog channel unplugged traveler link is in the description as well as my latest mixtape neo trap volume 2 and if you want to purchase any of the merch spreadshot.com link is in the description until the next video y'all deuces